here we go. So today is just gonna be another quick installation. Well, hopefully. So today we have this guy, a fly screen. This is from my friend's previous bike, the Triumph Street Crumbler. Recently he got a new bike, he got an MT-07 now, so he doesn't need this anymore. So this bracket is from a Triumph. If you go to the Dart website, they don't sell the bracket on its own. So I emailed them and asked them if they sell the bracket separately for XSR and said, yes, we do. So we have the, uh, the bracket for this bike. Happy days. So today we're just gonna install it. This is just a perfect size and perfect color, I think, just to blend to the look of the bike. Right, let's go. So I think we're just gonna install the, uh, the bracket first and then we can undo this from the Triumph bracket and install the screen. So I'm inside the shed at the moment because outside is so windy. I'm here in my bike shed and this is my fixie right here shout out to all fixie riders okay so i think we need to remove the the headlight bracket so i believe this is the uh the right side so it goes goes like that so it kind of matched the whole uh headlight bracket so let's undo this side first and attach the bracket Uh, guess what guys i didn't check my gopro uh, settings so let's just hope for the best with for the result of this video should be okay as you can see it is pretty easy installation so now the bracket is off just slide it in like that so let's do the bottom first There you go. How easy is that? I'm just gonna tighten it up. Ooh wee. Okay, we're gonna do the other side now. Before, I'm not really a big fan of uh, fly screen because it has a big impact to the look of the bike. But if you're doing long rides, you will uh, appreciate it, I would say, and kind of lean towards comfort when you're doing a long ride, a long period of riding. So on this installation, it's just one Allen key. I think this is eight mil, I'm not mistaken. Correct me if I'm wrong. Again, this fly screen is from Dart. There you go. Nice and sturdy. So now we're gonna undo I think it's the same size as well. Okay, on this one, you're gonna need a smaller Allen key. So yeah, it's not one Allen key, you need two sizes. Right, so you're nearly there. And of course, once this is installed, we're gonna go for a spin. So you can see there's like a rubber in between to kind of ease the vibration. Okay, even though this is like the, uh, the smallest that they do, it still looks big on my bike. Should be, should be okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, so sturdy. Okay, now who wants some bracket for street crumbler? Just let me know. And there we go. Right, now we're gonna go for a test ride. But yeah, this is this is legit. Just gonna give it a little wipe. I mean, what do you think, guys? Let's go for a ride. I just cleaned my bike. All right, the lid is back on. That's the thing, when you forgot your wallet, you need to use your Apple Pay, and you need to take off your helmet, and you need to put it back. It's just a hassle. Anyway, anyway, it's okay. Chill, chill. All right, so basically we are out to give this fly screen a test that dog is so mad what did I do
I can already tell that there is change with this thing right here let's try lights on with a high speed to see this big difference I don't know it is strange it's hard to tell There's no difference. It is very weird. There's no wind on my body, on my upper body, but there's there's a lot of wind on my helmet. I can feel it. Okay, just to let you know, this is my first time riding with a fly screen. So at the moment, I'm just telling you how I think or how I feel at the moment. So basically, the air, so all the airflow at the moment is going all on my helmet. I can I can feel it. It's normally without the fly screen, there's a lot of airflow to my body. But at this time, it's only all in the helmet, going through my helmet. So I don't know if it's good or what. Marvin is here already. Okay guys, I'm just gonna show you Marvin's new exhaust. Look at that, new exhaust. And look at my exhaust, yeah? <laughs> exactly the same. Same engine, same exhaust, same but different bike. <laughs> Back at it again. Let's start our bike at the same time, bro. One, two, three, go. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> but it's nice, sounds good. Okay, let's go. No fires, no barbecue, boys. Just more bikes. Beautiful horses. He's going left, I'm going right. Boss, see you Friday, man. So there you go guys, I think overall I'm still confused if it's making any difference. Again, the reason why I installed this fly screen is because we're gonna go to Wales next week for three days. Now the look of the whole bike is kind of changed, but yes, I'm just gonna keep this for our Wales road trip. But after that, I'm just gonna remove it and keep it. I can tell that there's a little difference, very little. Let me know if there's any better looking fly screen out there that I can put in this bike. But for now, I'm just gonna do my best with what I have. Woo! red light there you go thank you for watching guys give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram as well so yeah there you go i'm out oh my goodness oh my heart is pumping honestly i thought it's gonna pull me over it's an undercover police as well oh boy